Uh, I'm Luke Seymour, and I'm the co-director, uh, writer, and composer of Blood Cells. And I'm Joseph Ball, the co-director and writer of Blood Cells. Uh, Blood Cells is a British road movie, and it's set a decade after a great catastrophe has affected our protagonist's life, Adam. And he's been drifting around, leading this kind of nomadic existence, and then uh, his brother is having a baby, which is the kind of reason for him to return home. And we follow him on this journey as he kind of moves through the strange and broken, beautiful parts of Britain, uh, trying to reunite with his family. I had tiny stars on my ceiling when I was a kid. Millions of little worlds, and I wanted to visit every single one. If you don't come down, I don't want to see you again. First of all, we um, we always kind of had this idea of shooting a British road movie, kind of like influenced by sort of like the American like 70s independent films, where you always like have these really strong male protagonists in the centre. Um, and this is an idea we had like years ago, and then we kind of kind of mix that with this idea of like the foot and mouth disease being like the anchor point which started off the, the journey of the film. And it was that, the visual approach, because a lot of those road movies in America or Germany have this sense of uh, scale and it's something we wanted, uh, it's something we, we had done in our previous documentaries, but it's something we wanted to do with blood cells, is get that same kind of scale to capture Britain, which we, we didn't think had been done so much. So we wanted to get that kind of idea of, of the, the scale of the landscape and the intimacy the of the characters. The sublimeness of the landscape and the kind of, um, wonder I guess, yeah, wonder and uniqueness of Britain, really. Where are you heading? I'm actually headed back home. By the time light travels from the stars to your eyes, so much time has passed. What you see has already happened. There's a lot of the, the idea before was, was uh, improvising scenes. And, and that's something we still kept, but we, we, uh, there was a stronger kind of sense of the story once we started working with Ben and, and, the, and, and Venice. And so the, the, it's, it was quite a strange thing. So we're out in Venice in this little island, San Servolo, writing a film about in Britain in these kind of faded seaside towns, and we're in this kind of beautiful setting. So again, that, that kind of fed into the strange atmosphere of the film. Which because was he, was a, he was away from these places, basically, um, which was quite, which was kind of thing added to it in a way. And they all became like mythological places to us. And then when we actually kind of went to these places, it was, it was uh, even more kind of evocative. David, our DP, who we've kind of worked with, we started working with him when we'd done Isolation five years ago, and that was the first time we ever worked with him. I think his main strength is his kind of intuitive camera work, the way he works with actors. He's really great at reading kind of body language, dialogue, really feeling like the actor's performance, where they're going in each scene, which I think is like really unique and hard to do. Like, you know, he kind of, he doesn't, he doesn't have to work on focus points. So I think that really adds a fluidity and energy to uh, to the performances. And I think without without a DP like that, you would lose that kind of you, you lose something in the performance. Barry Ward was the was the other kind of key collaborator on the film. He he's the uh, lead actor playing Adam, and he's yeah again he's got the intuition which which Dave has, and so he was very important with the. Uh, when we kind of doing some of the improvised scenes, because we were working with non-actors, he was always this anchor. And so even if uh, they weren't sure where to go, and we kind of, it, it felt really kind of uh, interesting, and, and uh, it opened up the scene with Barry there, because he could lead them in a certain way. And that was always the idea to, to throw Barry as Adam into, into real life situations and see how people react. Something that we've done from you know our feature documentary isolation to, to to blood cells is that I've composed the music and we have you know a lot of discussions I have with uh, Joseph and 
a whole kind of friendship is, is built about talking about music and getting excited about music. So when we're on set, I'll start recording little field uh, recordings and they'll be used and manipulated and slowed down. And But they're all kind of sourced from those places. So you get a, a subtle sense somehow of those places, but it, they're kind of warped. And that's in a way what we want to do with the film. You know, th these are, if you go to these places and meet these people, England's a weird place to a certain degree, and maybe a lot of people in the tradition of social realism don't always tap into that, and that's something that we're interested in, that Herzogian kind of uh, portraits. And so getting the music and, and getting the sounds in those places and, and warping it and, and just, just, you know, you know, changing it a little bit, changing the elements of it a little bit, give, gives you something else. was tight and the only thing that was kind of like a pressure on us was time really but even then we it wasn't that we only did one take we, we did three takes or whatever no, it's, it's porn to say is all like we've obviously working with David um, and he had a you know some of the crew who worked on the film for example like the gaffer Aaron you know we were out of him for like years I mean, there was when we did the pyre scene that that was stressful that's yeah. insane because we the AD, we had, we had a lot of weird we went through, ADs. There's like five ADs on the project. So there's um, one AD who used to be an AD on London's Burning, so we thought he'd know about fire. He didn't. He said, oh, that will take about two hours to light and go up. We lit it, and within like five minutes, the whole thing went up. So we all running back going, show, show. It was the most kind of insane. We got it, but that was kind of, yeah, we only had one go at that, and if that yeah. went wrong, it would have been... That was probably the most stressful, I think probably for the producers and like everyone really, that was the most stressful part of the shoot. We're writing a couple of other, uh, writing a script called Pig's Disco, which we're really excited about and that's hopefully going to start filming possibly next year. And then we have a couple of other scripts, the like one script is going to be North African based. Yeah, early stages development really. Yeah. yeah, but we've got a kind of, couple of ideas bubbling over but the pigs disco is, is the kind of thing we're, we're moving on the most it's the most formed beast yeah